do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation and in that we are studying topic renal tubule now renal tubule along with your pct dct henle's loop it consists all of them so how all the segments are associated with renal tubule let's study and find out if i talk about renal tubule it can simply be said as a coil long tubular part of a nephron and it basically consists of pct dct and henle's loop which is proximal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule now your renal tubule lies basically from your bowman's capsule or it arises or comes out from the bow base of the bowman's capsule now your pct or proximal convoluted tubule what it does is that all the essential nutrients and 70 to 80% of electrolytes if i can say and water is reabsorbed by it your henle's loop if i talk about plays a very crucial role in osmoregulation whereas your dct that's your distal convoluted tubule help to monitor as well as stabilize the nephrons and basically just to adjust the fluid as well as blood pressure renal tubule now if i say renal tubule it could be simply said as a part of your kidney it is basically a long coil tubular part of your nephron now your renal tubule arises from the base or the bottom of your bowman's capsule or you say it malpighian corpuscles your bowman's capsule is connected to the renal tubule by a narrow short tube which is called as the neck part or the neck region it basically consists of three different parts pct that is proximal convoluted tubule dct that's distal convoluted tubule and henle's loop now your pct which is your proximal convoluted tubule throw it all the essential nutrients or you simply say it electrolytes like sodium and potassium
Now, your proximal convoluted tubule helps to absorb electrolytes as well as water from your waste products. Now, your loop of Henle, what it does is that it plays a great role in osmolarity. Your loop of Henle tries to maintain the osmotic balance along the cells. DCT or distal convoluted tubules help to monitor and stabilize the nephrons and adjust the amount of blood pressure in your nephron region. While your PCT or proximal convoluted tubule help to maintain pH and ionic balance of your ions by selective reabsorption of H plus ions as well as potassium or K plus ions. Henry's loop is U-shaped, thin wall and it has two limbs ascending and descending. So students, in this part of the chapter, we did study about renal tubule. I hope you all are very clear with this concept. Thank you.